When we did polynomials, we learned about a nice little pattern like this. If you took x plus 3 times x minus 3, when you multiply these guys across, you get x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. We called this the difference of squares because when you get done over here, you these guys are gone. You get x squared minus 9. This guy squared minus that guy squared. Another example of that was when you had something like 2x plus 5 you times it by 2x minus 5. When you multiply them, you got 4x squared. Then you got minus 10x plus 10x. Minus 10x, write that really small, 10x plus 10x, gone, minus 25. These guys are not exact opposites of each other. You'll notice the 2x's are the same sign, but the second part is a different sign. These guys have a special name called conjugates. So conjugates are when you have, uh, the, it's a binomial, and one of the signs is different, and so these guys are conjugates. So for example, uh, if we had 5x plus 3, and we were going to multiply this by something uh, to get squared both of them, we would choose its conjugate, which would be 5x minus 3. Then when we multiply, we get 25x squared, the middle terms go away, and we get minus 9. That's how we do it. This has a couple of really neat uh, applications. The first of which, so let's divide this up, we're going to use this now and try to solve and rationalize the denominator. Now we used to rationalize the denominator like this. 3 over the square root of 2, you're like, oh, what can I times that by to make it be rational? Square root of 2, square root of 2, and you get 3 square roots of 2 over, uh, oh, 3 square roots of 2 over 2. And there we have it. And uh, that works great when you have just a monomial down at the bottom. But what if you have something like this? 3 over, say, 6 plus the square root of 2. I'm going to try a couple of different things here. They're not going to work. I'm not trying to insult your tel intelligence, but they're not going to work. If we times by 6 plus the square root of 2, you're like, hey, it times it by the same thing. See what happens, 6 plus the square root of 2. On the bottom here, we're going to get 36 plus 6 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2 plus 2. Notice that these middle terms are still irrational. We haven't rationalized the denominator at all. So get rid of that. And so somebody might say, well, you're going about this all wrong. Just times by the square root of 2 on top and bottom. Well, try that and you get 3 square roots of 2. And then when this jumps in here, yeah, it turns that guy to a 2, but then we have 6 square roots of 2 over here. And we still have an irrational denominator. So don't try that anymore. Well, obviously, there's a reason I started out with these conjugates idea. You'll notice that when you multiply them, you get no middle terms, and that guy ends up squared, and that guy ends up squared, which means, ta-da, if we times by 6 minus the square root of 2, something good is going to happen. Especially down here, we're going to have this binomial. It's going to go 3 times 6 minus the square root of 2 over 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, then we have minus 6 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2. It goes away just like these guys do and just like those guys did. That's what's happening. You're multiplying these as binomials. And then you get minus this guy squared, which is the number 2. So we get 18 minus 3 square roots of 2 over 34. One last one. Let's see if we can do something like 5 over 3 minus the square root of 2. Let's do that one. So we're going to times by 3 plus the square root of 2 on top and bottom. That'll allow us to take care of any middle terms that may come up with this binomial. So 3 plus the square root of 2 up here. So here we have 5 times 3 plus the square root of 2 all over. This is 3 times 3 is 9 
plus 3 square roots of 2, minus 3 square roots of 2, gone, exactly like that guy up there, minus 2. And that equals 15 plus 5 square roots of 2 over 7. And one last one, we'll do that guy over here. 3 over 4 plus the square root of 7 times by the conjugate on top and bottom, that's 4 minus the square root of 7 over 4 minus the square root of 7 and we get 3 times 4 minus the square root of 7 over 16 minus 7, again difference of squares 16 minus that guy squared and that equals 3 4 minus the square root of 7 all over 16 minus 7 is 9. Now if you look at this, 3 and 9 can cancel, so we're left with 4 minus the square root of 7 over 3 with that simplification.